Hi, I'm David Gilbert, Technology Editor for the International Business Times UK, and I'm here today to have a look at BlackBerry 10, BlackBerry's new mobile platform which it launched this week. It's hoping that BlackBerry 10 will be able to put it back amongst the challengers for smartphone dominance, where currently Android and Apple are the leading players. Let's have a look at some of the features of BlackBerry 10 to see if it stands a chance. BlackBerry 10 is all about gestures, and that begins with unlocking the phone, which you can do by a simple swipe upwards on the screen. What that brings you into is essentially your home screen app. But what we have here is typical of what you see on Apple's iOS and uh, Google's Android as well, which is a grid of icons of all your different apps. But if you just swipe one more, what you'll come to is, I guess, what is essentially the home screen for the uh, operating system. And what you're seeing here is up to eight apps running live in the background, and tapping on any one of them will bring you straight back into the app. So here we have the Twitter app. Navigating around is simple, but this, as you can see from the front of this device, there is no uh, physical buttons, which means everything again is gesture based. So how do you get back to the home screen? A simple again, swipe up to the top, minimize the app. If you want to bring it back, you can, but it's full swipe up and you're back into the home screen again. It's quite, it's quite a neat idea because from every app you're using, it's always the same gesture. It's always a single swipe up brings you back to this. And if you want to browse your apps, you can do so with a simple swipe again. And it's quite intuitive. And as well as having all your apps available, as you can see down at the bottom here, you have direct access to your camera, search function, and the phone function. Similarly, along the top, a swipe down will bring up uh, settings such as Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, notifications, alarm clock, things like that, and, and a rotation lock. Um, swiping it back up makes it disappear again. Talking about apps, um, there are obviously quite a number of apps, stock apps, um, preloaded onto the phone when you get it. Um, just taking a look at a couple of the more important ones, the browser, for example, that comes with it is actually pretty decent. It's nice and fast. It's... Uh, it can do pretty much everything that you would expect a browser to be able to do these days. And of course, it supports Flash, which is very important for a browser, especially on mobiles. Another app we look at is the Maps app, which, as Apple knows full well, is very, very important to get right. Unfortunately, on the BlackBerry 10, the Maps, their own Maps app is... I guess functional is what you'd call it. It will get the job done, but it's pretty slow. Details aren't as good as they are on uh, Google Maps, for example, which is the clear market leader. And there's no options such as satellite and the directions don't take into account public transport, which is quite a pity. Of course, adding more apps it happens through BlackBerry World, uh, which is a central repository of games, apps, music, movies. And BlackBerry made quite a big deal of the fact that they launched 70,000 apps, um, or they had 70,000 apps supported from launch. Now, there isn't 70,000 apps available in the store straight away. They're coming in the near future, according to BlackBerry. But there, what we found is that there are quite a lot of apps there, but there are some serious omissions at the moment, such as Skype, WhatsApp. Although the, these have all committed to BlackBerry 10, they're not available yet, and of the top 25 iOS paid apps, we found only one available in BlackBerry World, which is quite worrying, I think. Another issue is that we also found apps and games and music to be quite a bit more expensive than on Apple and Android, which again is quite worrying. What we're going to look at now is, I guess, what BlackBerry will see as one of their key advantages, and that's the keyboard. BlackBerry has long been known for its QWERTY keyboard, um, but on a full touchscreen device like this, obviously you're not going to have a physical keyboard. But what they've tried to do is replicate that feel on a touchscreen keyboard, and they've done it very well. Uh, the, the, it's very easy to type. So let me just send a text here. And now, if you can see above each letter, when you type it, it, it tries to predict what you're trying to say. So it'll little words appear above the uh, letter for the next word you're typing. So if you want to use it, you just simply swipe up. And it does, it, it's remarkably how quickly it learns your typing style, the words that you use, and it works really well. And it's, it makes typing so much easier on a touchscreen phone. It, I have to say that the touchscreen keyboard on BlackBerry 10 is one of the best features on the phone.
Next, what we're going to come to, I guess, is what BlackBerry kind of sees as the center of the whole operating system, which is called Hub. To get to Hub, all you do is swipe up and go to the right. This one single feed of all your content from emails, apps, Twitter, Facebook, uh, text messages, BlackBerry Messenger messages, everything is in one single place. And well, initially this can be overwhelming. After a while of getting used to it, it does work really well. It also allows you to send messages back from a single place rather than having to go to each individual app and send the messages from there. So you can reply to emails, you can reply to tweets, you can reply to Facebook messages, all from within the hub. Another advantage of it is that if you were in an app, message coming through and you want to know is it important, what you can do is have a peek. So you can swipe up, swipe to the right and have a look and see which email has come through and if it's not very important, you go back to your app. If it is important, you go into Hub and you reply directly to the message. It's quite a neat system and it works very well. That's BlackBerry 10 in general and while it does work really well, it does take quite a bit of getting used to and for some people who just want things to work, they won't be able to, or they won't want to move from Apple or Android, but for those looking for something a little bit different, then BlackBerry 10 certainly offers this.